I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed. Hi, and welcome to today's episode of It's Time to Expose Myself. So if you have been with me from the start, which to be fair, most of you have not, you would know that I <laughs> was absolutely, kind of still am, but obsessed with five seconds of summer and one direction. Those guys have my heart, they still do it, like I love my boyfriend, but there's something about the boys of five seconds of summer and one direction that just rattles my soul, shakes me through the core, you know, there's something about them. So I, of course, like any other hardcore One Direction 5 Seconds of Summer fan in 2014-15, had a stan vlog. Now I gotta admit, I had multiple, like I had multiple Twitter accounts. I created multiple Instagram accounts trying to get followers on those, but that didn't really work out. And then lastly, I had one Tumblr account. That Tumblr account got kind of clout. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I had almost 2,000 followers on it. So, I mean, it's, it's all right. It's not, not too bad, not too shabby. Now that Tumblr blog I haven't touched in two years maybe, but I recently rekindled my Tumblr love. <laughs> Five Seconds of Summer released a new album and of course it was so freaking good and I'm in quarantine so I had to go into my Tumblr and see what people were saying. And I will tell you, I was shocked when I logged on and saw that some of my old imagines, yes, I said it, I made imagines, and they still get reblogged. <laughs> and a thought popped into my head. Now, I haven't read these in ages, like since I wrote them, most likely, which has been probably three years ago, four years ago. So a thought popped into my head and I thought just why not embarrass myself? Why not show you guys my talented and dedicated ass, One Direction ass, Five Seconds of Summer ass back in the day? Like why not share these imagines with you? So that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> I actually totally forgot that I used to write imagines, but most of my imagines are kind of like a text message thingy because those used to be really popular and as a very bad writer <laughs> I actually just did those because those are very easy but they're all so cringe I read through a few of them and I hate myself <laughs> I actually do have one like story uh, that I wrote myself uh, so this is my Tumblr. Let's see what happened. This is my Tumblr. It's called God Michael. It used to be called Darling Styles 101, but then I changed because I used to be a One Direction Tumblr, and then I changed it up to Five Seconds of Summer when I got obsessed with them. You know, I, you, you know how it goes. So this is it. It's called God Michael, as I said, because I'm a Michael girl. Actually went to a concert. I, I've actually been to two concerts with them and the second one was a very intimate one and we stood very close and I got eye contact with Michael Clifford and he blew me a kiss. So I'm like, I'm gonna live on that for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so this is my Tumblr. Yes. I don't think I'm will be able to find some of them here. I used to have like a master list. I'm so embarrassed. On here. 
but we're gonna try and see if we can find some okay so i used to make these texts posts and i also made these kind of mood boards and like imagine boards which is where you put some aesthetically pleasing pictures and then aesthetically pleasing pictures of the person <laughs> together so i'm going to show you guys those we're just going to scroll through the five styles imagine hashtag on my blog and see what comes up so the first thing that comes up here is the callum hood one and i still quite like these like i'm still a fan of these they're very aesthetically pleasing and we have traveling with Cashton. Cashton is Callum and Ashton, if you didn't know. That's a ship. <laughs> like these mood boards are, are not bad. Okay, here is the writing that I did. I haven't read this through in a long time. It's called The Kitten. It's a Michael Clifford Imagine, of course. When you walk into the animal shelter for what must have been the fifth or sixth time this week, you're met with the cool breeze from the air conditioning and the lady whose name you've learned to be Linda. Standing behind the counter talking to a man. As the doorbell to the shelter rings, Linda and the man with the bleached, almost icy colored hair turned around and look at you. You must admit you're quite taken off guard when you meet the sea green eyes that belong to the man who you now realize is holding the kitten you've been trying to adopt. That's my kitten! You <laughs> stay <laughs> Before quickly realizing that you've spoken pretty blatantly to the guy that you don't even know. As the socially awkward person you are, you place both your hands in front of your face and stand there waiting for a reaction as you feel your neck and cheeks heating up. The guy who is roughly about your age, age now has a smirk spread across his face, which is just making your embarrassment worse. Actually, love, you race. I used to love. I used to love putting, like, love or darling behind every sentence when I was speaking to people and stuff. I thought I was so British. I thought it was so cool writing. Thank you, love. Thank you, darling. I'm like, no. <laughs> and Michael would definitely not say actually love. That's more of a heavy thing to say, to be honest. Did I just let my fangirl show through? Yes, I did. Actually, love, you raise your brows at his use of the usually endearing nickname. I just signed the adoption papers for this little one. But I've been trying to adopt him for over a week now. You whine, looking back up into his emerald eyes that you have, you have to admit, are quite captivating. Sorry, there's nothing that can be done now, I guess. He looks at you with mm, as much sympathy you guess one would have for a stranger one just met. Okay, kind of weird, but fine. Just when you wrap your fingers around the cold doorknob, the guy opens his mouth and hesitantly starts speaking. If you want to, we can grab a cup of coffee and discuss sharing custody. You turn around quickly, looking at him with hope in your eyes. Really? You would do that for a complete stranger? I'm Michael Clifford. I play guitar in a band, and for some reason, I often get called kitten myself. He puts on a charming smile and when you look strangely at him, he shakes his hand with you and what? He shakes his hand with you and tells you that it's your turn. Um, well, um, YN, YLN, which stands for your name, your last name. You know, so you can really put your personal touch on this story, you know? I study acting and I love kittens. You shake his hand and laugh a little thinking over how stupidly random this conversation really is. Michael looks down at a kitten, then back up to you. Would you look at that? Now we aren't strangers anymore. I think this story just captivates the whole five sauce imagine thingy that was going on on Tumblr in 2016. I mean, except the lack of smut, because there's usually a lot of smut in these stories. <laughs> They were usually really cringy, and I must be this kind of like teenage romanticizing thingy because right now I just find them super cringy. Back then I thought this was so good, 
I thought this was like, I'd done something. I did something there. But yeah, let's move, move on. <laughs> the next, next thing that comes up is my Sounds Like Feels Live also vlog. I think this still is, I think this is still on my channel. I'll link it down below if you want to see it. That's my first vlog where I actually went to see Five Sauce when they did their tour. Then we have some other, just some GIFs, you know. Some of them actually got a lot of notes, like, yeah. Oh my god, this is so cringe. I wrote concept. Me and Michael filming the chapstick challenge, but having to cut out half the footage because it's just us having a full on PG-13 makeout session. I am so embarrassed. Why am I doing this video? Okay. Look, mood board. I also did this thing called five sauce mess, as I called it. It was a calendar, an advent calendar, where I posted a five sauce imagine or mood board every day for the whole of December. So we're just gonna happily look through that, I am guessing. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of examples of thing I, <laughs> things I posted during Five Souls Mass. The first thing was Callum's Arms Appreciation. And this post of just pictures of Callum's arm has 905 notes. Then again we have Michael Galaxy Appreciation. Michael used to dye his hair like every single month different colors so I just have a lot of them I have Luke Christmas mood board I don't yeah okay I don't know why there's okay here we have our first little text <laughs> these are not my first ones I obviously did someone before these but this is one example that I posted on five sauce mess my drummer is the name and the way you would do these texts is you would usually uh, either download an app or text yourself and then delete the texts in between and then change your contact name. Okay, so I don't want to love for Christmas. There's just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want to hold you here tonight. I just want you here tonight holding on to me so tight. No, that's wrong. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Isn't that? Look! And then, that emoji. Don't worry, baby. All I want for Christmas is you. Five Sauce Mass Day Night, the Jack Hemming saga continues. Now, there was a, there's an inside joke that Jack Hemmings, Luke Hemmings' brother, is a lot hotter than Luke himself. So... There used to be a lot of like imagines where you would tease Luke about liking his brother and all of that shit and I really based my career on that, I'll tell you that much. Hey Luke, yeah, your name? Are we celebrating Christmas with your family this year? Yeah, cool. Is Jack maybe coming? Um, yeah, I think so. Is this about your stupid crush on my brother? What? No. <laughs> Your name. I'm gonna tell you one more time. He has a girlfriend. You have a boyfriend, aka me. What? It's not like I'm gonna do anything about it. That would be just silly. That would just be silly. I know, babe. But I am allowed to look at your smoking hot brother. <laughs> I mean, she has a point. I'm not gonna lie. We have a Ashton Coffee Cream mood board. Mirror selfie appreciation boyfriend Callum. In honor of my not so successful prom. Oh baby. <laughs> Five sauce sleeping appreciation because I'm becoming sleep deprived and they look cute as fuck when they sleep. Christmas with Ashton and your little family. Ashton with glasses appreciation. Again, 
this is just pictures of Ashton with glasses and it has 618 notes. I would probably reblog it too, but you know, you can see how thirsty we are. Road trip with cake, random relationship moments, adventures with Muke, Luke Candids, Michael Candids, Ashton Candids. Did I not do a Callum Candids? That's sad. Luke Candids again. No, I just retweeted it. Okay. Okay, so that's all the five sauce mans things I have before Christmas. And I'll, I'll just show you a very... A lot of these didn't take very much effort. Like two of these here is Merry Christmas. It's only December 1st. Well, it's basically Christmas. No, it's not. Can you just go away? It's Christmas. And this one has 136 notes. Who the fuck would reblog that? Like, I mean, thank you, but <laughs> what the fuck? And then this one, is it too early to watch Christmas movies? Yeah, definitely. You just wanna come over and watch Christmas movies? You wanna come over and watch Christmas movies and cuddle? Fuck yeah. That has 225 notes, which means it's been reblogged or liked. So I'm just gonna do a couple more or else this video is gonna be freaking ages. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is one that, you know, <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it the five sauce fandom or pretty much any fandom are usually very thirsty there's usually a lot of smut and a lot of dirty con content but as i mentioned i was only 16 i was a virgin kind of innocent never kissed anyone and my dreams were up here and i had to you know make the texts kind of special in some way so here we have one of my finest moments this is a text from luke to yn do you guys never take a break what look do you have sex all the fucking time we're not having sex now oh stop it i can hear you through the walls dude that's not us what yeah me and mike are playing video games then who the fuck is making all these sex noises disturbing my sleep well ashton is out getting pizza so i guess it's callum that fucker at least he's getting some. Ugh, don't remind me. Well, what am I gonna do about it? Your name? Your name? Why have you stopped answering? Oh, oh, not you guys as well. This always happen happens when you play video games. I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed. Okay, one more. This again, as I said, my whole Tumblr career really, uh, you know, really played on this Jack Hemmings situation. So here we have one that has 837 notes. Come over and watch Friends with me. Like Netflix and chill. No, like Netflix and cuddles. Do I have to? I mean, no. I'm sorry, babe, but I'm playing FIFA with Callum. You always play FIFA with Callum. Sorry. Jack wouldn't treat me like this. My brother? Who else, Luke? Who else? Now, I'm not gonna lie, I quite like that one. <laughs> <coughs> I think that's all the embarrassment I can take today. But if you guys want me to do another part, because there are tons more where that came from 
then make sure to let me know and I might do another part. You know what would be really fun? Reading these drunk. That would be a video. <laughs> yeah. If you guys want anything like that, just comment down below. I'm 20. I'm the legal age of drinking, so it's not, it's not illegal. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me embarrass myself completely. If you want to follow me on Tumblr, make sure to do so. Follow me on my other socials as well. I upload every week, twice a week, sometimes even three times a week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!